Hello my angels, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I have a little bit of a haul for you guys and it's kind of all over the face, all over the face, no, it's all over the place. Um, I want to show you guys a couple of nature box snacks because I know a lot of you guys have been asking for my picks. You guys like when I share them with you every single month. I have some skincare products, I have some skin accessories we're gonna say and then I have some makeup to show you guys so I normally would start off with the makeup but I'm gonna start things a little bit differently in this video and first thing I'm gonna do is start off with the skincare so the first things that I want to show you guys are these two products right here and I have to do an updated I guess an everyday morning routine because it definitely has changed I normally am the type of person that I don't really like I'm not gonna lie to you guys sometimes I skip the moisturizer in the morning and just go to my makeup because I do have combination skin but I have been reading a lot lately about the importance of really taking care of your skin morning and night and never skipping on a moisturizer so I was like okay well if I'm gonna apply a moisturizer to my face you guys know that I have extremely extremely acne prone skin I was like I want something that's gonna help with like acne and blemishes and there's not really a lot of moisturizers on the market unless they have like like salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide, like the typical acne treating um, ingredients. And I really don't like piling too much of that on my face because it, it can irritate your skin if you do that every single morning and night. So then I came across this product right here and it's called New Glow. I will give you guys a close up because I know I'm pretty far from the camera. It's called the Revitalize Repair Cream. And basically what this is, is a moisturizer. It's glycerin based and my skin happens to love glycerin based moisturizers. And what this says is that, where did I read it? I know that, it, okay, right here. It says for use, for use on troubled skin, excellent for discolorations, blemishes, burns, psoriasis, eczema, sores, allergic skin troubles, stretch marks, or as a night or nightly as an intensive restoring treatment to help promote and restore healthy, beautiful skin. So basically this is kind of like a drink of water for my skin because my skin is very, very irritated. I did, um, I actually don't know if that video came out yet. I showed you guys what I did on a nightly basis to kind of help cope with like dry, irritated, itchy winter skin because I have that problem every single winter, but I still do have acne at the same time. And I really like that this helps moisturize my skin, but it also treats the acne, the blemishes, the redness, the irritation all at the same time. So I've been using this product every single morning after I wash my face. If you guys want me to do an updated morning routine or even an updated nighttime routine, definitely let me know. I'll show you guys what I use this in combination with to wash my face what I use underneath my eyes and all of that and then I have also been on a serum kick lately so I did want to try out this serum also from New Glow and this one is actually a copper peptide serum and it says here on the bottle that this serum improves skin texture increases skin firmness decreases the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and I've always heard that serums just penetrate a lot deeper into the skin than a lotion or any type of cream moisturizer so I think the combination of these two together make a really good team. So I've been applying these on my face every single day for the past week and I have seen the redness. I'm not going to say my breakouts have calmed down because I'm in I'm under a lot of stress right now, so I still feel like I have things that are coming to the surface. At least that's what my esthetician told me. She said it will take about 2 more months until the skin calms down because all the stress that I had during December and before December, it's all coming out now. But my skin is very dry and irritated, red and itchy and I feel like those two products have helped a lot. And I normally was only treating that at nighttime, so I like that now I'm treating it during the daytime underneath my foundation. So those are the first two things I want to talk about. I do actually think that they have a code for free shipping. I will post that down below. And with that being said, since we're talking about skin, let's talk about the skin accessories. And this is also something that is good for people that have acne prone skin, such as me. And I've had some really mean comments lately, you guys. I have been trying a um, CC cream, which is not as full coverage. And some people were like, oh my God, your skin, like, your skin looks so different. Like I can actually see your breakouts. And it's like, well, yes, I was trying to give my skin a break from the full coverage foundations and I was using a CC cream. So I know that my skin was not looking as flawless, but I didn't think it was that much of a big deal. But to some people it was. And what I'm using on my face right now is a Tarte Amazonian Clay um, liquid foundation. And I feel like it gives good coverage, but I haven't used it in a while, so I have to see how it wears throughout the day. Anyway, so back to the accessories. What I want to show you guys is actually pillowcases, which I know is so weird. What do pillowcases have to do with acne? But these are really cool. These are actually pillowcases, and this is what the case looks like right here. It's by Sleep Clean, and it's called their pillowcase with acne-fighting antimicrobial... No. Antimicrobial... I don't know why I can't say that word. Antimicrobial... Mic microbial... 
antimicrobial silver ion technology hypoallergenic pillowcases for visibly clearer skin. And basically they're just your standard looking pillowcases. They look like this. You can put them over any regular pillow. And these are supposed to be special because they're supposed to be for people that suffer with acne. Now it says here that it has powerful silver ion technology to inhibit the growth of acne causing bacteria on your pillow. So it says for visibly clear skin and reduce inflammation and redness, use nightly. And I'm like, okay, well I already use a pillowcase so why not just pop one of these babies on? And they come packaged pretty cutely. Just like that, I know my camera might wash it out a little bit, but I have a little surprise for you guys. I'm actually going to be raffling off one of these on my Instagram channel. No, my inst on my Instagram. So if you guys want to be entered to win one of these, just check out my Instagram. I'll probably have you guys like repost a picture or something. Not too sure yet, but all the details will be listed down below as well as my Instagram, and that will go live as soon as this video goes up. So the next thing that I want to show you guys, all the way over here on my bed, is some makeup from CVS. And I really like buying makeup from CVS because I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but they have a beauty club. And if you sign up, you get 10% off, like a, a pass that you get 10% off of any beauty products. And then also for every $50 that you spend, you get $5 back. And I buy a lot of beauty products, so it does kind of rack up pretty fast. And I also love the money back guarantee. There's some companies um, or businesses places such as Walmart that does not accept used beauty products and I, I'm not one of those people that feels bad like returning used makeup because the company is making enough money They're not gonna take it and put it back on the shelf But if I if I buy a foundation that I don't like that breaks me out or Whatever it is that I don't like I just I have no problem returning it And I love that CVS has a like no questions asked whether it's used my phone is ringing. I'll be right back Okay, they hung up so back to what I was talking about um at Walmart, you can't really return used products, and CVS, no matter what, if it's used, if it's opened, if it's swatched, if it's abused, well, I don't want to say abused, but you know, if you tried it out, if you tested it out, they will still take it back. So that's why I prefer to buy a lot of my makeup from CVS. The same thing with like any moisturizers that you buy, any skin products, anything really. They will take back, like money back guarantee. So uh, I first want to show you guys the eyeliners that I bought because I have a little bit of an obsession with eyeliners lately. And I did pick up the Physicians Formula. This is my old one. I just wanted to show it to you guys right here. You guys have seen this in use so many times. It's called the Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. Long ass title. You guys always ask me what eyeliners that I use. This is what it looks like right here. I wanted to be able to show you guys the packaging. Now this is supposed to be an eyeliner that helps your lashes grow out even longer. I don't really think that it does that. I just really happen to love the calligraphy style pen. I know you guys definitely can't see that, but since I apply my eyeliner every single day, it's kind of just like I swoop it right on. It goes really quick. And this is the eyeliner that I have used for years and I really like. With that being said, it's not the most darkest eyeliner that I've ever tried. And one of my friends, her name is Rosie, I saw her the other day and she was she had like this gorgeous wing liner that was so matte and pigmented and I'm like, what eyeliner are you using? I need to go pick it up like now. And she was using this one by L'Oreal. It's the L'Oreal Linear Intense Carbon Black. And she said that she used the one with the brush tip. So I picked it up and it has a very, very flimsy little brush tip that's so hard to use. And I consider myself like an OG when it comes to applying eyeliner because I've been doing it ever since high school but the tip makes it so hard. Like I'm really good with either a calligraphy style pen or with a, a felt tip brush or just something that's not as flimsy and it, it messes up. Like, I'm, don't get me wrong, the product is beautiful and it gives such a beautiful look, but my eyeliner does not look on point. So what I've been doing is like taking a little bit of this. It's so like ratchet. I've been like brushing it onto the calligraphy style um, tip on this and using it to apply like that. But I do want to ask you guys if you have an eyeliner. I know my friend Ashley, also makeup by A Marie here on YouTube, um, loves the NYC liquid liner, but she also said that it has a very flimsy brush. And I really want something that's super, super pigmented, dark, matte, very, very bold, but that has a calligraphy style pen or that has um, was a felt tip 
uh, brush. So whether it's from Sephora or the drugstore, definitely let me know because I'm in the market for one of those. And the last two pieces of makeup that I picked up right here is a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade French Fries. I like to apply this into the inner waterline of my eyes because I feel like it's very, very subtle, but it gives a little bit of like a bronze sparkle without having to apply like a harsh brown, dark brown, or black in my waterline. It's just like a little something, a little sparkle. And people always ask me what I'm wearing in my waterline. So, and the last thing that I wanted to pick up was a new mascara and I wanted to pick up the Lash Blast waterproof CoverGirl mascara that you guys know that I love but they ran out of the waterproof version so I picked up the full lash bloom in waterproof by CoverGirl and I love it and I actually got a compliment that my eyelashes looked extra on point the other day eyelashes on fleek and I was like okay so I never well I do get people asking me what I'm wearing on my lashes but this was from a person that never says anything so I was like that's very important. You notice the difference. So I think I like this guy and uh, I'm gonna have to be using him a little bit more and I may have a review. Maybe I'll have like a head to head competition with one eye having the cover girl lash blast and the other eye having the full lash bloom. I will let you guys know. And the last thing that I picked up from CVS is an oldie but a goodie. This is by OPI. It's their Nail Envy. It's basically a protein nail coat. And you're supposed to apply this like as a treatment every single day for like seven days and it really grows out your nails. But what I like to use this as now is a top coat and a base coat because it has made my nails so strong and like durable that I don't need to apply it every single day anymore. But it works amazingly as a base coat and top coat. It is $20, which is ridiculous for a nail polish to be $20, but it's so worth it, you guys. Nail Envy, the original formula, not the matte formula. It will work wonders on your nails. It's the only thing that I swear by. And last thing that I want to show you guys is the snacks that I picked from Nature Box this month. So let me get those. America, you know I had to cop the foreign. I'm going to um, zoom you guys in a little bit so you guys can kind of see the snacks that I'm talking about. You know what? Let's talk about the snack that um, that's all gone because, hold on, this is not good. Okay, so the sourdough cheddar pretzels are completely gone. Uh, me and my boyfriend were obsessed with these and we kind of just finished them right away. I will try to put a picture of what they looked like uh, since the bag is completely empty now. I'm so sorry, you guys. I have to like exercise so much self-control when these snacks come because I just want to finish all of them. And these are pretzel bites with cheddar cheese and a hint of beer. Like... I know, and it, it blew our mind. Like It was amazing, like salty with a little bit of that cheesy flavor in there. Pretzels, like how can you go wrong? Speaking of pretzels, there was another pretzel one that we ordered, and these were the dark chocolate pretzel pops. Let me show you guys what these baby looks like. These babies look like. Have you guys, do you guys remember like the Butterfinger BBs? That's what it looks like. Um, but the reason that these are so good is because they're covered in dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate, so they're not overly sweet. But it is a really good combination. Like, you guys know my sweet and salty thing that I have. I don't know why I love sweet and salty together, and this definitely satisfies that. So I got these. Then, let me see which would go best because I still have this in my mouth. Um, got the cranberry medley, which is pomegranate and acai flavored dried cranberries and blueberries. Then I wanted to get some sweet snacks, some salty snacks, something for every day of the week. And these are what they look like. They look like just little dried uh, cranberries and blueberries. Mm. I don't know if you guys can see them there. They're so good. I actually like putting these into my granola. Or even into your, um, I mean granola if you want to be healthy. Or into your ice cream if you want to be not that healthy. I really like those though. And then the last two are these right here. I got the barbecue kettle kernels. I'm not going to eat any more because I know that I'm going to get sick mixing all this. This is B BBQ or barbecue flavored toasted corn. Oh my God, you guys, this is so good. I don't know if you guys know what corn nuts are, but they have them at, um, look at this. They're so cute. They have them at 7-Eleven um, and they remind me so much of corn nuts. They're actually like little tiny kernels, little corn kernels. And they come in a couple, a couple of different flavors. We decided to get the barbecue ones. Really, really crunchy. If you have any type of like fillings or or veneers or anything in your mouth, I definitely don't recommend them because they can break your teeth, but I love texture. Like, I love the crunch. Um, I'm weird, guys. I'm like a big time foodie. Like, I'm addicted to Food Network. Let me know if any of you guys watch Food Network and what shows you watch, but um, I just love food and I get excited over food, so whatever. And the last thing is the Everything Bagel Sticks, and these are sesame sticks with poppy seeds, garlic, and onion. 
And this tastes exactly like an everything bagel. I don't know if it's easier for you guys to look in that way. Sorry, somebody's texting me, but I'm a little busy right now talking about food. Okay, okay, I really don't think that did anything for you guys. But these are what they look like right there. And these are so good dipped into cream cheese or sour cream. I tried them both ways. I don't know why. It's like a really good combination because, because it's the creaminess mixed with like the saltiness and all the spices put together. So good. Bomb.com. I know you guys always ask me to show my nature box. Pixes. Pixes? What the heck? I apparently cannot speak English today, but um, I love nature box and you can get a free sampler box. I will post that down below in case you guys are interested. And yeah, let me zoom you guys out real quick because you're all up in my grill. Alright guys, and this video turned out to be a little bit longer than I was expecting, but I had all this stuff piled to the side that I wanted to show you guys for a while now, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoy my random hauls. Make sure to request what you guys want to see a little bit more about my channel. I am so sorry that I've been slacking on the makeup tutorials, but um, two more days and these glasses are going to be coming off. I'm going to be getting my LASIK and you guys will be able to see me putting makeup on and eyeshadow tutorials and makeup tutorials like how it used to be. It's just a little bit hard to film, like how am I going to film an eyeshadow tutorial around? On these glasses. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see um, a tutorial on makeup for glasses, but the thing is, without the glasses on, it's really hard for me to apply eyeshadow because I can't really see what I'm doing. So it's kind of hard and awkward to like work around the glasses. So I'm like, yeah, don't really think that's gonna happen. Anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Please make sure to check out my second channel, my vlog channel. It is on and popping. I love you guys all so much. Check out my Instagram, check out my Facebook, and check out the description box down below for links to everything that I mentioned in today's video. Love you guys. Bye.